Hello and welcome to the IBM Automation Automate Decisions with Business Rules demonstration. First, a bit about business decisions. They're everywhere in every organization across all industries from public and private sector and government. And they change frequently from many different business decisions across market needs from regulation, competition, and even customer expectations. IBM Operational Decision Manager enables companies to automate and manage these frequently occurring and changing business decisions. Business teams can be directly involved in the management and update with immediate impact on the business, and these decisions are executed in a robust and scalable engine. Our demo scenario today is an online loan application using decision automation from IBM ODM. First, eligibility is determined using the business rules. If the loan is rejected, it is sent back. However, if the loan is approved, it is sent on for quoting, also using the business rules. At any time, business experts within the bank are able to add new rules, update rules, and then test and simulate them before deployment. Let's start by executing our business rules from an external web form built for the demonstration. Here we can enter borrower and loan information, and once we click on get a fast loan quote, the decision from the business rules comes back, and unfortunately John Smith is not approved given his computed score. Let's take a look at these business rules using IBM ODM on Cloud, a software as a service application. Launching the Decision Center Business Console allows us to manage and maintain multiple different types of decisions. First, loading the decision used for fast loan, we can see here there are also multiple business rules involved. Here is an example of decision table. The table allows us to organize multiple rules that use similar conditions and actions in one place. Also possible to look at as an Excel spreadsheet. Let's go ahead and create a new rule. John Smith is an existing customer and we'd like to add to his score and those of other existing customers. We are presented with drop downs that guide us through the creation of conditions and actions within the business rules. Here they are context sensitive so we can see creating the condition the borrower is an existing customer is provided for us very easily. Let's add one action to this rule to increase the score of the borrower by 550 points in this example. We'll also need another action to add a message so that we can see the results of our rules in our example demo interface. Once our rule is created, it's very easy to create new versions, update, and compare side by side as necessary. Once the rule is saved, let's come back to our main decision center interface and let's run a simulation. Business impact simulations allow us to check whether our rules are behaving the way we wish before we deploy them. Our approval rate on the right in blue and orange shows that existing customers are being approved at a 48-52 split now with our new business rule. Comparing with an old simulation, you can see here that our split is different on the right at 46 and 54. This may or may not be what we expect, but we are able to check from a business standpoint before deploying any type of business rule. The power of simulation. Now let's go ahead and deploy our business rule. In this case, we'll deploy to our demo production server. Of course, there are multiple servers and environments, and everything is permission managed so that certain people can deploy only to certain environments. With a few clicks, we're able to deploy our new business rules. And let's come back to our user interface, and let's submit the exact same data and see if there's a change in our results. Indeed, there is. John Smith is now approved for his loan. And you can see that the existing customer bonus rule was indeed executed to allow for this new approval. Let's review what we've learned about the benefits of decision automation. First, it allows us to keep our decisions up to date. IBM ODM is easily able to capture and govern those decisions. We're able to improve the quality of our operations using a performant and scalable execution. And we're able to make our decisions enterprise assets by sharing them across both the enterprise, on-premises, and on-cloud. Thank you for attending our demonstration.